Hey guys, it's Jason. Today I'll be talking about the Bitcoin difficulty. This is a very, very basic tutorial, just kind of giving you the very basics of the difficulty and what difficulty means. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy because I'm filling your brains with knowledge about Bitcoin. So what is difficulty? The difficulty is the measure of how difficult it is to find a block compared to how easy it could ever be. Okay, that kind of makes sense, right? So how often does the difficulty change? I got that answer. Every 2016 blocks, the Bitcoin difficulty changes. Now, if the difficulty was going to stay the same, like baseline, it'd be 14 days, right? But that rarely ever happens because the difficulty is always changing. It's either going up or going down. I have never really saw it, besides in the very beginning of Bitcoin, stay flat line. So, say it takes 11, 12, 13 days to mine the 2016 blocks. What happens then? Well, if it takes less time than 14 days, then the difficulty is going to go up. If it takes more time than 14 days, be that 15, 16, 17, 18 days or more days, then the difficulty is going to go down. And this is how the Bitcoin ecosystem and the whole programming files work together to kind of keep everything fair and balanced. And this is actually really, really interesting because the difficulty was envisioned by Satoshi as a way to manage the network. He saw that, you know, there was CPU that he was using, but he saw this envision for how you know, it could possibly be GPU miners, how it could possibly be the FPGA. I don't know if he knew that exactly, but he saw that possibility. Or even eventually ASIC miners, you know. So he saw that and he said, well, there has to be some way so that it kind of, the system all works together and it says, hey, wait, you know, so people can't just get a whole bunch of Bitcoins because the system isn't correcting itself. So what he did was he envisioned this 2016 block hard limit so that every about roughly two weeks, the system would correct itself. And as the difficulty changes, you know, the mining profitability changes as well. A lot of times this is really interesting because if the difficulty goes up, miners are making less and that hurts miners. But if the difficulty is going up and the price is going up, miners are doing good. What usually happens, and you see, I've looked at the historical trends, is the difficulty will go up so like exponentially from one you know one lap, from two weeks ago to this two weeks, and what will happen is the price will stay flatline. Well, now the miners are mining less coins, but they're spending the same amount of money, and they're not getting the same. They're they're getting less returns because they're getting less coins. The exchange on the open market, so the difficulty plays a very very important role. But for the intermediate level, all you really need to understand this is very basic. So just try to understand. If it takes less than 14 days to mine the 2016 blocks, then the price, or not the price, but the difficulty will go up. If it takes more days than 14, the difficulty will go down. And there's a whole adverse side effects of either one, but that's just the very basic. It kind of explains what difficulty was. And I hope you didn't know, or I hope you did know, Satoshi actually was one of the very few people to ever mine on the one difficulty. That's right. When he mined, he only had one difficulty. So imagine with his, I think he had like 18 computers. Imagine with their CPU range, how many Bitcoins he was mining. You know, it kind of goes back to the saying, the early bird gets the worm. The first one in the project is usually going to get the most Bitcoins. But then again, there's no sign to show that those wallets have ever been, you know, money has ever been sent around. So that money's kind of wasted. But if you want to get into mining, which is a difficult thing to get into right now, you're going to have to understand difficulty. I encourage you to look up difficulty on the Bitcoin Wicca. Very, very interesting. It's a more detailed, you know, kind of a fulfillment of knowledge on what difficulty is. But again, this is just very basic. I hope I kind of explained it to you, and I hope it has informed you as a Bitcoin citizen. Have a great day.